Hey guys, welcome back. Well, in this video we're going to do a very special review. We're going to be looking at a, a photographic lens that originated in 1839, okay? Two gentlemen called uh, Daguerre and Chevalier, and I really hope I pronounced that right, in 1839, came up with a practical application of a camera and a lens, okay? And the lens that we're going to be reviewing today is by Lomography. It is a recreation of that uh, concept back in 1839. And um, it has been made suitable for modern cameras. Uh, the one that I got right here has a Canon EF mount. So that's what we're going to look at, all right? Now, first of all, here's the lens itself. It's bronze and it's very, very heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean really heavy, okay? Now this is a specialty lens because it gives a very specific effect. It's really dreamy, really blurry, and it's you know a strong bokeh effect, okay? Now you either love it or you hate it. But the fact that you have a lens that dates back to 1839, or at least the concept of the lens, uh, hooked up to a brand new camera is pretty awesome, and you just have to check it out, okay? Now, this is a lens with two lenses in one group, that's it. And it has separate aperture plates, right? Now, uh, I've got them right here. We have, uh, let's see, we have uh, Aquarel plates, like these, and hopefully you can see that okay. And then we have the standard plates, stuff like that. And then we have our Lumiere plates, they're these, okay? Now they range from, and I'm just looking at my cheat sheet here, they range from uh, uh, 2.9 to about, uh, let's see, 16. Uh, this set goes up to, I think it was 12, uh, but you can slide them in the front here in that slot, okay? Now I will be showing you some uh, pictures that I took with a reference there as well. So I used each and every aperture plate. I took a photograph and you will see what photograph goes with what uh, aperture plate, okay? Uh, let's see, what else? Um, manual focus, like I said, aperture plates. This is the lens hood that can be taken off, like so. And the aperture plates just go in here. You just push them in and push them down. And you should be able to see that from that end, okay? Now, I believe these to be um, Chinese made, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Uh, I know that there are Petzval lenses, they are made in Russia. These seem to be made in uh, China. But that said, the quality looks awesome. The packaging is really, really stylish. It looks really great. And it was a lot of fun to uh, shoot with these aperture plates, okay? So um, yeah, let's uh, jump into these uh, sample images so you can see what they're all about, okay? Here we go. Well, 
guys, hopefully this little review was helpful. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for um, uh, loaning me this lens so I could play with it. Uh, so thanks to the Lomography uh, team and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Okay, if you did, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. Okay, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.